Hello, my fam. Hello, Australia. Hello, world. Perez Hilton here, and I am going into the jungle. It's official. I am doing I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here, Australia. And that's not the jungle. Right now, I'm staying at a really fancy lodge right behind me, but I'm hours away from entering the real jungle. There's so much I want and need to tell you. So please, I will keep this video as brief as possible. I want you to watch it in its entirety. First, make sure you're following at Perez Hilton across social media so that you can stay up to date on everything that you need to know. And my sister will personally be taking over my social media accounts on the Perez Hilton. So she will be sharing clips and photos and everything that I'm doing on the show. So even if you don't live in Australia, you can watch me and you can support me too. You don't need to live in Australia in order to support me. You can support me in so many ways. I feel like I have a lot to prove by doing this. I have a lot to prove to Australia and to my fellow campmates because I'm going in as an intruder. That means the show has already begun. And if I was one of the campmates that started on the very first day, I would have some resentment towards me. So I want every single one of you watching, whether you're a fan of Perez Hilton or whether you hate Perez Hilton. I want you to vote me for every single trial. Yeah, I'm a little crazy. That's why I agreed to do the show. I wanna do every trial. I want to earn my place there and I wanna stay as long as possible. I don't think I'm gonna win. In fact, I'm certain I'm not gonna win because of many reasons. But if I make it to the last episode, I would feel like a winner, truly. I know people often say that, but I really believe it, especially because I also really believe I'm not gonna win. If you're not from Australia or you don't watch the show, last year, the winner of I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here Australia also happened to be an American, male, homosexual, gossip reporter. So the odds, statistically speaking, of another American, male, homosexual, gossip reporter, winning the very next year. If you're gonna bet on that in Vegas, like, it's not good odds, okay? But I am there to have fun. I am there to just live, live out a wild dream. Like, this is so cool. Like, I cannot believe I'm doing this. I've been watching this season. I'm obsessed with the show. I know everything about everyone. I've been doing my research and I can't wait to go in there and just experience it all. And, and who knows what's gonna happen. And I can't wait to hopefully put smiles on people's faces that watch in Australia and globally too, but especially in Australia. You know, I like to be honest, that's kind of what I'm known for. I, I don't feel just like I have something to prove. I also feel like this was meant to be and the universe, wow. Whew. The universe said, this is gonna happen now. Because I was in talks with the show. They reached out to me to do it last season. And they asked if I was interested and I said, yes. And then they went cold. Oh my God, they're going crazy. <laughs> are, they, are they mating? Anyways, they went cold and I didn't even agree to do the show, but I said, yeah, I'm interested. Like, let's talk it through um, and let me wrap my brain around it. And then when they just kind of, I guess, booked this other guy instead, I felt, I felt robbed. I felt, I felt like that was my spot. And I then reached out to the folks on I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here UK. And just like Charlotte Crosby, the folks at I'm a Celeb UK said they didn't want to have me because I did Celebrity Big Brother in 2015, which is stupid and lame. So many years have passed, but 
but whatever. I do believe that everything happens for a reason and I was meant to be on this show, this country, this year. And it is really meaningful to me that Network 10 is donating so much money to causes, organizations that are helping the recovery there in Australia and just helping with the ongoing awfulness that has been devastating the, the people and the animals. Like I said, I, I hope Perez can be a nice distraction. And I'm also thrilled that I, if I can win, get to raise a lot of money for this organization that I partnered with. In America, I've done a lot of work with two charities that are both youth-centric. I have three kids. I will get to them in a second. I have three kids. Oh, well, finally. Oh, stop. I have three kids. So I've always um, resonated with charities that help children. So in the US, I was on the board of directors of the VH1 Save the Music Foundation, which helps restore music education programs in schools that have had them taken away. And I also helped raise hundreds of thousands of dollars for GLSEN, the Gay Lesbian Straight Education Network. Here in Australia, I discovered this amazing organization called Oz Child, which helps children in foster care find foster families. And it also helps prospective foster parents uh, get ready and partner them with children. And this is so important because there's so many kids, especially if they're older, that just don't get adopted, that need those loving homes to take them in. So I'm so happy to raise awareness and funds for them. And I'm so happy that my kids are gonna be watching me while I'm in the jungle. I made a bunch of videos with them that my sister will be uploading across my socials. I made videos with them. I made videos by myself. My sister will be handling my socials. She'll be posting those. I've got different kinds of videos related to this show, um, which I think you guys will find um, informative and entertaining because my brain has been all over the place and racing and I've been doing things to get ready, but this is, it just feels like such a blessing. And I've always felt a connection to Australia. I've been twice. I have many Australian friends. I'm a huge fan of many Australians. Some of those divas I'm friends with too. Um, I would love to go back to Australia. I am channeling that. I am putting that out in the, in the universe. Just like I feel like I manifested this wonderful opportunity. I hope, I don't hope, I am going to be going to Australia again, hopefully this year or next. And hopefully I could take my family. That would be amazing. But hashtag Celeb Perez, vote for me, vote for me, vote for me every trial. Ah! Celeb Perez, hashtag Celeb Perez, no matter where you are, you can vote for me. I am here to prove myself. I am here to have fun. I am here to be silly. I am here to do something I've never done before. I've never even been camping in my life. I've never been fishing. I am not a nature person. I am a little bit crazy though, which is why I agreed to do this. <laughs> um, but I love a challenge. I love working hard, as you guys know, and I am extremely competitive. It's the Latino in me. Um, you know, that, that hard work ethic, the Cuban immigrant started from nothing my parents did, and I am living their American dream. I'm living the, the immigrant dream. It doesn't matter if you're American or not. Like how, I'm just so grateful, blessed, grateful, so appreciative that I get to do this now. And this is now the third show I've been on with celebrity in the title. I did Celebrity Big Brother UK. I did America's Worst Cooks Celebrity Edition 
And now I'm doing, I'm a celebrity, get me out of here, Australia. Airing now on Network 10. And isn't that crazy that little old me is deemed a celebrity? Because I don't view myself that way. I'm one of the people. I'm just a podcaster, a vlogger, a blogger. That was the thing I did first, but I wanted to make sure I plugged my podcast. <laughs> there will be new podcast episodes coming out while I'm in the jungle. Well, hopefully, fingers crossed. I'm gonna go record them right after I do this video. Um, hopefully I can even upload this video. If you're watching this, I uploaded this video. And if you're watching this, then that means also um, the podcast happened or is happening because I don't have Wi-Fi in this room, only in the shared areas and it's kind of slow. So we're gonna see. Um, but yeah, there will be no Wi-Fi in the jungle, no cell phone, no TikTok. <laughs> I'm going to miss TikTok, but not more than my kids and my mom. I'm going to miss my mom and my kids so much. But thankfully, we spent some really special last days together. And I can't believe I'm here now and doing this. I'm doing this. So join me on the journey and vote. Vote, vote, vote. Vote for me for every trial and then vote to save me. And if you don't, and if I'm only there just to, well, I think I'll be immune. I think I have immunity, so I'm at least gonna be there for a week, I hope. Um, but I really would love to be there till the final episode. So Australia, world, let's do this. And you can start helping me right now. Get the word out, share this video, tell all your friends, have viewing parties. Um, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Why am I doing that? I don't even know. I'm a, I'm a, ah! Thank you to everybody at Network 10. Perez appreciates you so much. Yes, I just spoke about myself in the third person. Thank you to everybody at ITV that signed off on me. Um, and thank you for watching. That's it. I don't know. Watch. Stay tuned. The Perez Hilton and Perez Hilton across social media. Let's do this. Hashtag Celeb Perez. Mwah.